to my channel i'm back with another video in today's video as you can tell by the title is how to make a elegant youtube banner the last video i did on my channel on how to make a youtube banner was kind of like glitz and glam it was a lot of glitter things going on so in today's video it's going to be kind of like a simple youtube banner if someone's looking for like a more elegant a more um subtle type of youtube banner this is the video before we get into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any uploads from me um and yeah um if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below i will try to answer as many questions as i can but also check the questions in the comments to see if questions have been answered i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and leave some comments and show some love and let's get into this video so the first thing you want to do is open the Pixar app and this is where I'll be erasing the background of my image. This is free to do so you want to click the plus sign at the bottom of the screen, add the image that you want to erase the background of, click cut out and then you have the options. I chose person um, to make it a little bit easier. You can also hand erase but it's easier for me to just do person and it's way quicker um, and as you can see you erase the background pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is save this image and then I'm going to go over and open the Canva app. So once you have the Canva app open, you're going to click the top of the screen where it says create a design and then you're going to customize the size of your image to 2560 by 423. This size is pretty much the standard of the focus of what your YouTube banner is. So like that center chunk of everything that you have on your YouTube banner, that is the most important part of your YouTube banner. So, and it's going to be this little bitty long um, rectangular square, and that is pretty much where you want to make sure your um, YouTube banner design is in. Now that you have your YouTube banner uh, portion pulled up, you're going to click on photos, and you can search up whatever background you want. For this background that I have, I typed in pink backgrounds, um, and then I just chose this background from it. Um, and to change the color of the white background, you're going to tap it and where you see that rainbow color scheme at the top, um, you're going to tap on that and it's going to pull up this whole chunk of colors. And then you can also see um, the colors that are within the background that you chose, if that makes sense. You can pretty much select those colors to kind of make everything um, blend seamlessly and like actually be the same color. So I'm choosing the colors that's within the background that I chose, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, you're going to do pretty much customize it how you want to customize it. Um, and what I'm going to do now is apply this background onto um, this image. And what I'm going to do is um, make it the size of the 2560 by uh, 423 portion of the YouTube banner. And then I'm going to um, go at the top where it says transparency. And then I'm going to make that a little bit lighter so that it's not as like... Um, vivid so it kind of looks like it's just blending in the background if that makes sense okay i hope i'm making sense y'all i'm really trying to go as slow as i can to kind of explain everything that i'm doing um i did try to like do that whole clicky thing on this video to kind of show y'all exactly where i was touching but for some reason it didn't do it um so what we're doing now is i'm going to start adding in the picture that we cut off from pixart um, so once you go to uploads, you're going to go to upload images and then you pretty much just upload the image and you kind of like put scale it and size it where exactly where you want to have it. It's pretty easy. I think this is the most easy way that I can explain a YouTube banner um, by doing it on one app. So now what we're doing is we're going to start adding in shapes. So what I'm doing now is adding in a square and then I'm going to change the color of that to one of the colors that's within the background picture. Um, the same way I did the original background color, you just pretty much change it to whatever color you want to have it. And you can also change the transparency of this image as well. And I think I did that right at the top of the screen. Um, and I just made it a little bit lighter so it's not as dark and it doesn't stick out as much. So you see me doing that right now.
So now I'm going to be adding the text by clicking on the text icon on the left side of the screen. And I'm just using my most recent um, text fonts. These are my favorite. I'm actually using the first one in my YouTube intro. I don't know. I just love this text. So that's the text I'm going to be using for this YouTube banner as well. Um, and what I'm going to do is just pretty much change everything to my channel name, which is Kiera K, of course. And then at the top, um, you guys can barely see it now because the text is so small. Um, but I'm going to add what my channel is about. So for my channel, it is um, beauty, lifestyle, and editing. And you're also going to add like your social media of your own social media. You're going to add whatever your social media handles are. Um, and then here, I'm changing the size of the font just to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm also changing all of my font to white text um, so that it match. Um, but of course, if you're using black text, you're gonna keep it the same or whatever color text you wanna use. So here, you pretty much just customize it how you want it to look. Um, but yeah, that's just how I um, customize this portion of it. So right here is kind of like a free, free, a free flowing idea that you have for your channel. You pretty much customize it how you want in to fit the aesthetics of your channel. Um, and you can also adjust like the spacing of the letters. Everything that I'm doing is right at the top of the screen. You just kind of got to play around with it um, to make everything look exactly the way that you want. So now I'm going to be adding social media icons. So you're going to click where it says elements and then you're going to go to the search bar and you just type in Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, whatever, whatever social media platforms, TikTok, whatever social media platforms you are on, you just type them in and then you can just click on one of the icons and then you can change the color. So here I'm going to click on elements again and this time I'm going to type in glitter. Um, this is just going to pull up like glitter templates that you can use on your um, banner. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just choosing whatever glitter one I think looks best or like more like glitter because some of them don't really look like glitter honestly. Um, but what I'm going to do is apply that and then I'm going to change the transparency, kind of take it down a little bit. Um, and then apply that to the top of the banner to kind of look, make it give like a little gradient, a gradient effect. Um, and then I'm just going to keep duplicating and then um, changing the transparency um, of the image. You want to make sure um, when you are uh, taking the, Im the glitter image, I'm sorry y'all. You want to make sure when you're taking the glitter image across the banner that you are sending the image straight to the back. That way it's not in front of your letters or any other anything else on your banner like if you have other pictures you want to make sure you're sending it to the back so that it's in the background of everything and not covering the front of your banner Once you're finished adding everything that you want to add on your banner, you're going to click the expert button and save this portion of your banner. And then you're going to click on where it says go to home page. 
Um, and then you're pretty much going to do everything all over, not everything, but you're going to click on create a design. And this time what you're going to type in at the top is YouTube. And then you're going to go to YouTube channel art. That is the exact size of the channel art for your YouTube banner. Um, and then what we're going to do is go to where it says uploads. Then you're going to upload the image that we just saved and then apply that to your banner. And then you're going to click on the color, um, color um, box at the top sorry and then you're going to change the color to something that you want it to be of course I'm choosing something that looks exactly like the banner I just created and then I'm going to make it the exact size um, to fit in that portion of the YouTube banner you want to make sure um, that the banner that you just created is directly in the center of this image um, because you're going to need this entire image to upload on your um, YouTube channel to make it your banner you can't just upload the rectangular portion that we created the first time is not going to work so you're going to need this entire portion of the image that's why i say change the color to something that looks like your youtube banner um but yeah that's all i have for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see y'all my next video thanks so much for watching